Hello, my name is Ilya Tulchinsky and I work with Google Cloud Genomics team. You are likely familiar with standard tools for processing genomics data and then files like Picard and GATK. Traditionally, they take files as input. But with more genomics data coming to the cloud, we have been working on teaching these tools to read directly from the cloud with Global Alliance for Genomics and Health APIs. Today, I'm going to show you how to build and run Picard tool against a dataset store with Google Genomics. All the instructions can be found on our googlegenomics.readthedocs.org website. Now, these instructions assume you could be starting from scratch, and so they walk you from the very beginning through creating a Google account, if you don't have one, to signing up to Genomics API, if you haven't done so already, and then creating a project, and then finally, setting up credentials, authenticating, and getting access to genomic data. Now, I have already gone through these steps on my machine, but please follow the instructions on the page if you need to do the setup. The next step is downloading and building three packages we need to make Picard work with GA for GH APIs. First of all, Picard tools themselves. Secondly, HTS GDK uh, genomics file access library, where we implemented support for plugging GA for GH readers. And then finally, GATK tools Java library that contains the bulk of the logic for actually working with the API. Again, I will skip these steps since I have already done them on my machine. At the end of the process, we should have the following files in our working folder. Let's list them. First of all, client-secrets.json file that we got when we are authenticated, and then uh, Picard tools themselves that we have built with GA4GH support. Now, let's see if we can run a basic view send tool and have it output data from the cloud. First of all, let's tell the API which project we will be working with. We are using gcloud tool to tell the API that we are going to be working with project called genomics test data. Now, let's find the data set that we are after. We are going to use gcloud tool again, this time to run genomics API command to list the data sets to which we have access and then find the data set which is called test data. So we've done that and we have the idea of our data set. Now we're going to find the read group sets um, that we want to access. Read group sets can be roughly thought as corresponding to BAM files. So again, we are running a genomics API command, this time to list read group sets that are under the data set that we found in the previous step. Here is our read group set and we have its ID. It's here and we're going to need this for the command lines that we're going to specify for Picard. Now I'm going to paste the command line and explain its components. But first let's switch to the Picard folder. So we have the standard Picard invocation here. We are using Picard jar and we are issuing the view sum command. Now let's look at the input parameter, which is here. This URL specifies the endpoint for Google Genomics GA for GH API implementation. It's right here. And then it uses the ID of the read group set that we want to use, that we found a couple of steps before. That's here. And finally, we specify the path to the secrets file and that we need for our authentication. Okay, let's run this. Okay, this worked. We have run a standard Picard tool, but the input came directly from the cloud as opposed to file. We can also run a faster version of the API access 
that uses gRPC technology. It is more than 10 times faster. Here is the command line, and I'm going to explain it. The command line is almost the same, but you need to add an LAPN jar to the class path. That's here. And we have instructions on which file to use depending on whether you have Java 7 or Java 8. In this case, I'm using uh, the file for Java 7. We also need to tell um, our implementations that we are going to be using gRPC. And other than that, the command line looks the same. Again, we are using URL as an input, and we are specifying the path to the secrets file. Let's run this. All right, so this worked as well. Now let's do something else. Um, instead of specifying the full read group set to process, let's specify a genomic range, because we could have a big data set, and we only want to process part of it. Here is how the command line will look for that. So you will notice it's pretty much the same, and the input URL is very similar. But notice that in addition to specifying the read group set ID here, we have also specified the reference that we like, that we want to use, and a specific genomic range that we want to process. Let's run this. So this worked, and we only got the reads from this uh, genomics interval. Now, this is not the only tool uh, that we have converted. We can run another tool, for example, mark duplicates in a similar manner. We specify the command line as usual, and the input is again a URL that points at our data in the cloud. Let's see this. So same Picard invocation, except this time mark duplicates instead of view sum, and the input is again a URL. Again, this worked. So now let's review. We ran several Picard tools, reading data directly from the cloud via GA for GH APIs. We have worked on converting several tools to support this, and if you want to help us convert more, please read the developer documentation on the GitHub page for the GATK Tools Java project. You can also use GA4GH support we have built into HTS GDK libraries to easily enable your tool built on top of same libraries to read the data from the cloud. Thank you very much for your time. Mm -hmm.